part cyborg walk around with this thing on my head. And my own voice is amplified to myself. One thing good about this is I can unlock. Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. Everyday reviews for everyday life. Please like and subscribe. I have here the Kenneth Cole face shield. This is, yeah, that Kenneth Cole by New York. I think it's legit. Um, but, you know, I tried to look for this on Kenneth Cole website. I didn't quite see it. Anyway, I have a link down below for this thing. It says here, inside there's a little card that says, these are wearing times, thank you for purchasing an eye shield to protect yourself and others, and for helping to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Uh, Kenneth Cole, New York, looks legit. All right, so this is a uh, protective face shield, and it has these special benefits. It says it's anti-spray, right? Anti-fogging, anti-smoke, oil splash proof, anti-exhaust, and windproof. Has special features. It's safe and ultra lightweight for comfortable, uh, easy to carry, and easy breathing. Accommodates all facial movements. Designed for wider coverage and maximum protection. Flexible and adjustable for secure fit and minimal fogging. It's reusable and washable. And of course, it's super breathable. Now, here's the thing with these. I didn't really consider these because there were none that I thought looked uh, really great or comfortable. Now these, on the other hand, are completely clear. Of course, you can see here that there it is it goes all the way around your face, and I have really relatively big head, so I was interested in seeing how well these would fit for me. This will work with glasses. That's another important thing for me, obviously, because I wear glasses and that are kind of thick and wide, and you know it has to be relatively affordable. And well, let's see. So this is how they are right here. Now you see, you, as you can see, you can see reflections. You can see reflections from my light over here that the star is not actually a feature uh, of the unit. And yeah, I think this does shield this whole area. And you can see there's still a little bit of gap here, right over here. But this area actually seems to fit on my chin pretty well. And I get protection from up here. And if I need further protection, of course, I also have my cap uh, that will protect me. So feasibly, if anybody's sneezing around me, uh, as long as I kind of look that direction, it'll be okay. But there's still some opening here. So if someone sprays me over here, you know, I could still uh, contract something, I suppose. And also because things are airborne. Um, I suppose if I sneeze, most of it, actually, probably all of it will be captured on here. Here's the question for you, though. Oh, it also comes with this little case here. Y you can definitely hear me a lot better with this. Uh, definitely sounds loud to me because this is reflecting the sound back to my ears. That's one little consideration. I think you will be able to hear me a lot better. Now my lips touch this bottom piece a little bit, but as you can see, you can clearly see my mouth moving, you can see my face, and also there's protection all around. Now the question I suppose that I would be asking is, would this be okay for most places in lieu of this? Or do you, or obviously the best protection is if you have both this and a face mask on. Face mask on, right? And then you put this on top. So in essence, well, this is pretty much to protect others. This is protects yourself probably a lot better when you do both of these together. Now, if you just have this face shield, oh, if you just have this face shield, like this, would that be enough? And I actually see on my face, because um, I have such a big head. Let me, let me try this, this again. Let me see. I have a big head and flat nose. Um, I think with my glasses on, this middle piece, well, I still touch a little bit of the chin, so it's kind of resting on my chin a little bit. Let me put my glasses back on. These are not my new glasses. These are my older glasses right now. I'm going to put this on. 
Okay, so with these glasses on at the same time, um, I get it. It actually hits the frame of my thick glasses up there. So it rides on top of my glasses more, a little bit less comfortable with these glasses on. So it's not exactly perfect for glass wearers. It's definitely more comfortable. And that's because I've, well, glass wearers, people that wear glasses and also white Asian faces like myself, uh, it doesn't actually fit on the bridge of my nose. Now, when I don't have the glasses on, it does fit on the bridge of my nose, but also because my face is relatively flat, just because of my Asian heritage, it actually almost rests, it actually covers pretty well down here, but it almost rests on the bottom of my chin because of my nose. So without glasses, this provides really fairly decent protection. It's not completely sealed here, you see that? So it provides pretty decent protection, uh, but I'd definitely be more comfortable wearing, well, wearing contact lenses. If I have glasses on, it kind of has to rest on the bottom of my chin down here. And it's not a complete seal. I don't know, what do you think? Does this, does this look okay? Would you be bothered? Actually, most people probably wouldn't be bothered by someone uh, wearing this in lieu of a face shield. But the question is, are stores gonna allow that? Are you gonna have to also wear this and this? With this and this, you, you can see uh, I'm getting a little bit of condensation and stuff from my mouth down here on the bottom. because it rests down on my mouth. If I open my mouth up really wide, my lips touch the bottom. Without my glasses on and it sitting on the bridge of my nose, yeah, it still touches the bottom. That's because my nose is really, uh, my nose is relatively flat. I don't have a long or big nose. Good news is this seems to hold pretty well in my head and I have a fairly big head. All right, so that's that's my impressions of this one. It does come in a variety of different tints. I think there's a blue one, there's a gray one, and there's a brown one that's available. They all run about the same price from this one seller. I'll link down below for those. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this out. This definitely feels like it gives me a little bit more protection than not having a face shield. Uh, but of course, if I keep a long distance enough away from the next person, at least six feet, probably more than that, then this might be a little bit too much. I don't necessarily need it. Now, if I'm outdoors though, this gives me an additional protection, uh, potentially UV face protection. If I get the tinted one, this is the completely clear one, which happens to probably be the most popular one to be using. That's it for this quick look review. Please give a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next video. Thanks for watching.